Now that you've archived your project as a template folder on your thumb drive, let's archive it in a second place in Blackboard as a contingency, just in case you lose your thumb drive or something goes wrong with your system at home. If we return to Blackboard, remember that in the Module 1 Project 4 area, Export ePortfolio Template, you're required to archive your template to this area. And uh, you will do that by attaching the template file to a thread in this forum. Well, I'm going to click on the uh, forum link. And I will then add a thread as soon as Blackboard comes back to me, if it cooperates. There we go. Let's click Add Thread. And I'm going to put this in as a uh, sample. My template file is attached. It's always nice to have a little message there just so that we know what to expect in case we see nothing and don't notice the attachment. Well, I'll click Attach a File, Browse, and remember that I have all my work on the thumb drive. Here's the template file. I'll click on that and click Open. And finally, click Submit. Now, this will take a moment to uh, upload. It's unfortunate that they call uh, template files uh, template files. They really are zip files, except that they contain some information, uh, some additional information that you wouldn't find in a conventional template uh, a zip file that NetObjects uses to reconstitute your project when it, it's imported. So let's take a look at my sample thread here and notice that uh, my template file is attached. Here's the attachment. And again, we now have it backed up in two places. Now notice that I clicked on it and it gave me the option either to save it locally or to open it. You never want to open a template file outside of NetObjects Fusion or using WinZip, which is the default program. Now, you actually can open it up, but it won't be rendered in a usable uh, format. So I'm going to cancel out of that. Remember that this is just for use internally with NetObjects Fusion as a contingency if something goes wrong. And in effect, Blackboard we're treating as an external hard drive in cyberspace. It's just a, one more place where we can back up our work as a contingency in the event that things go wrong.